where object, or not not the object, but your um, attribute has only one value. So at opacity, it just has zero to a hundred percent. Your rotation has zero to three sixty and above. There's only one value, or, or um, yeah, one value in your attribute. I'm sorry, one one at, one one attribute for your yeah, it's, it's an attribute and there's a value in it. Okay, so it's one value to your attribute. Um, an array is an um, attribute that has more than one value. So that would be like your scale in your position. Your scale has an x and y value, and your position has an x and y value. Um, so since we want to combine the x and y value in here so it um, uh, scales evenly, uh, we don't have to divide up the two. So what we can do here is I want, I gotta think here, I want my uh, the n value or the randomized value of my splotch here to be between I think it's like 10 and 100 percent. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do here. So value Value, spelling, spelling, value, and seeing as how it starts at 100%, um, I can say divided by um, random value of 1, comma 10. Make sure I use the shift key on the parentheses. There you go. So now it as it uh, shifts through the uh, uh, the frames, its scale is completely random. Well, another way you can do this, okay. Um, and you're thinking, why you know why can I have do, done this like uh, like I did with the uh, the opacity uh, down in the flicker, where let's remove the expression, set this to zero. I'll click scale. And just go value equals random ten through one hundred. Well, it won't work because opacity is only one value. So when let me turn this into parentheses here, uh, because opacity is a scalar, it's only got one value. So when I typed in the value in the opacity, so let's go to Flickr. So when I type in value in the opacity, it's only got one value for After Effects to look at, and After Effects says, okay, it's only got one value, so I can apply the random value just to that one value. Up here in the scale, because it's an array, you type in value random 10 th equals 10 through 100, After Effects is getting confused because it's like, okay, well, which value, the X or the Y value? I, I don't know which one it is. Um, so in this case, what you would have to do, you know, if you want to set it to zero, and then, you know, you'd have to go back and and write, um, um, oh, what's it called? <laughs> you have to write variables and. Well, okay, so now we have our splotch with its uh, random sizing, random position. I'm sorry, random scale, random position. Now the next thing we want to do is do a random rotation. So hit R for rotation. Alt click the stopwatch value and what we're going to do here is we're going to multiply random value hold on the shift key random 0 through 360 uh, comma semicolon and if you look at it you notice it's not rotating and you're wondering okay why isn't it rotating well if you're multiplying something and the original value is zero anything you multiply the value any any value you multiply zero by is going to be zero so in order to change this you have to set the, the, the value to one so one multiplied by this random value will equal that random value uh, and if you know if you take a look you notice the splotch or splotches will be a random rotation every frame. Now another way you could do it, this is the beauty of expressions, 
is that there's several ways to you can do it. You know, because you can add or subtract, you get the same thing. Multiply or divide a certain way, you get the same value. I can leave this at zero, and instead of multiplying the value, I can add the value. So adding, you know, 360 to zero is 360. So you get the same thing uh, just by subtracting, I mean, multiplying and dividing. It's just a different way of doing certain things. You'll come out with the same, the same, uh, um, yeah, anyway. So next part we have is we got to deal with the opacity. So let's hit T for opacity. Whoop, no, don't want to do that. Uh, alt click the stopwatch. And let's name value. And what we got to do here, opacity. And we can just make this uh, value equal to, well, we want the opacity to go 0 through 100. So it's either completely transparent, you can't see it, to completely, you can see it completely. But the thing is, if we do it that way, every frame there will be a splotch, and we don't want that because it'll be on a very rare occasion that the splotch will actually hit zero transparency or zero opacity. So what we have to do is uh, kind of overdrive in the negative value the opacity so there will be more frames in sequence hitting a negative opacity value. So in other words there'll be more frames where there won't be a splotch and it just looks even more random. So I'm going to overdrive the opacity value so random value, let's say negative 50 to 100. Semicolon. And so if you notice, the splotch isn't always there now. It's just popping in and out. In fact, there are just several frames there where there's nothing, nothing there. Actually, I'm going to go down. It's, look, it's looking pretty good. Uh, I just want to go back to my scale and I think I'm going to actually uh, transform the uh, the value here. So actually, let me copy this, go into my text layer. Let's add that in there so you can see. And let's okay. I'm sorry. I'm back. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into the scale here. I'm just going to see how it looks. I'm going to break it up. <coughs> so I'm going to let's see here x equals pick up. Actually, let's delete the expression completely, zero it out. Oop. Delete the keyframe. I'll click. And so x equals pick with the x. And sorry, I'm just thinking here. Yeah, let's reset this the scale to zero, so I'll just add everything to add the random expression in. So x equals value of zero semicolon y equals pick with the y position semicolon let's go down open bracket x comma y whoop y semicolon okay so I'm going to take the x value and I'm going to, because the value is zero, I'm going to add random value 10 comma 100 and I'm just going to copy this expression and paste it down here in the Y value. And so now if you notice, I don't like it, but you'll notice that the, the actual um, splotch is completely distorted in each one. I, I don't like it because it, it gives it a weird look to it. So um, I'm just going to redo.